I mean, your wife's a science teacher, right? Do you have any thoughts about uh, about the way that science is communicated? I mean, you are essentially science communicators, even if you're not professional scientists. Uh, yeah, she is, and uh, you know, uh, it's it's been interesting to compare what we do, which is, uh, I mean, we don't have any uh, any uh, idea that we're scientists or, or reply. We don't we don't um, have any kind of pretension that we. Uh, are science teachers and uh, and science educators where she does. I think the main thing that I've noticed is that uh, the day-to-day -day of actual teaching, as I've seen her do it, is uh, you know something that doesn't allow the kind of playful experimentation that we do because it's you know you're in in a classroom with 35, 40 people or something in some cases and. And you just don't have the time to get into it the way we do. Is that a problem? It, it's absolutely a problem, and it, I mean it means that uh, that kids are essentially passive instead well, of. Well, I mean, you also end up with with education is one of the first things to get cut when budgets get tight in the United yeah. States, and the place that education gets tight is in the ancillary materials that actually make education fun. So you lose your shops, you lose your drama classes, you lose your music departments, and you lose your science experiments. And you know, Jamie and I have spoken several years at the California and National Science Teachers Association meetings, and you know, we're constantly running into science teachers that spend reasonably large portions of their own income on their science demonstration mm. materials. But science is absolutely something you have to learn by getting your hands dirty. You can't just read about the hardness and softness of metals and the structure of steel molecules in a book. You have to actually heat it and bend it and break it in order to deeply understand it. Well, it, it's so much fun, and I think everyone loves technology, and I think we really push the envelope on like things that we can cover. And not only are we covering cool stuff, but we're finding the people that are making this, and we're going to the places and talking to the people that are really doing this and living it and creating it.